Murray, a much tougher night at the office tonight. Um, the defence uh, effort was, was good, but just the Kiwis too clinical, do you think? No, I thought we weren't clinical enough. I mean, with our ball. Um, they they just threw threw me a number. They said uh, the Kiwis played 140 balls for nine line breaks, which maybe a couple of them were in the last five minutes, and we played 40 balls for five line breaks. But we ju just couldn't capitalize. We we kept losing ball. We weren't clinical in in our line out in a scrum, so we we couldn't um, have a solid platform to for, uh, where to play from. I'm not taking anything away from the All Blacks, obviously. I'm just saying that uh, the balls that we had, we had a, a couple of chances and we couldn't take it to the bank. Do you think that was a function of third week playing a row, extremely hot night for rugby, maybe getting a little bit tired? I don't know. Maybe the, the players could answer that. Um, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. Oh, pa Pablo, um, uh, tonight's a very hot evening to play. Uh, you're saying to field three weeks of hard test rugby as a squad now. Is it Tired, is tired, tired is becoming a factor. I think uh, that was not the what happened in the in the game. I think, as Mario was saying, it's difficult to put pressure in the other team when when you play two phases and you lose the ball. It, it, it's not good enough, and and this is a pressure game. So you need to to put a lot of pressure in the other team. When you have opportunities, when you have good balls, and when you're going forward, we in with our balls, we were going forward, but we couldn't play a lot of faces with too many handling errors, and and then they got the ball again. I think we we didn't defend, we, we didn't have a, a bad defense. It was a quite good defense, uh, but we were not uh, clinical enough. So I think that's that will happen today. Pablo, the gesture by New Zealand for Diego Maradona at the start of the game did. Did you know that was going to happen, and, and what were some of your thoughts about that gesture? Uh, I didn't know until I do the, the coin toss with Sam Kane, and, and he told me about it. And we are very really thankful for that. Uh, Diego Maradona was obviously huge for for Argentina, and so I'm, I'm really thankful thankful for for that gesture from the All Blacks. And the impact of that news hitting the squad this week, um, can you give us some insight into sort of conversations within the team or the feeling within the team about this? It was a, a surprise, obviously, for, for our team and also for, for the whole of Argentina. Uh, for us, I think it was, it was energy. Uh, Diego Maradona was a guy that represented our country the best way you could represent as a sportman. And, and I think uh, it, it's been a, a huge inspiration for, for all of us, players, coaches, uh, the people of Argentina. So we ob obviously have had it in our, in our thoughts and, and we just want to represent our country the, the same way he, he did it. Mario, still another game to come against the Wallabies. You know, tri Nation still not inconceivably impossible to win uh, with a bonus point victory. Mm. What's the, what's the message this week to the team? Ah, it's the uh, same message we've been giving the week in, week out, especially obviously trying to get better. And uh, and we've we've done a lot of effort to come over here and, and a lot of sacrifices to uh, not to finish the way that we deserve to finish. So we'll, we'll go out there and uh, try to have a great game. Any injury updates? No. Y un poco lo que decíamos recién, la verdad que eh, teníamos la sensación de que cada vez que guardábamos la pelota podíamos generar algo, hubo una, un, un par de jugadas de, de primera fase donde podríamos haber marcado hasta la, la última pelota del, del primer tiempo también e irnos al descanso 10-7 pero en ningún momento le pudimos meter presión de, de ninguna manera, ni, ni, ni territorial, porque tuvimos poco territorio, ni de posesión, ni en el score. Así que se, se, se hizo bastante difícil, a pesar de que en el segundo tiempo casi marcamos en el, en el primer minuto, en los primeros minutos. Creo que eso quizás hubiese, hubiese cambiado el, este, la dinámica del partido, pero bueno, no, no estuvimos finos, estuvimos poco precisos eh, en la obtención y en la ejecución. Mira, la verdad que 
se viene haciendo, se viene la, trabajando muy bien este, desde que arrancamos esto, no solo acá en, de gira, sino desde que empezó el año y, y el esfuerzo y el sacrificio eh, son, lo, son el mismo, ganando, perdiendo como fuera. Y la verdad que lo, las bases que se están construyendo queremos, queremos seguir capitalizando en eso, así que eh, creo que vamos a tener un gran partido el fin de semana que viene. Sí, creo que primero antes de dar vuelta a la página eh, está bueno aprovechar y, y ver qué podemos sacar de esta derrota, eh, analizarla, tomarnos el tiempo para, para realmente eh, mirar para adentro y, y después preparar una, una linda semana. Tenemos una semana más todos juntos, realmente estamos en el lugar en el que queremos estar, así que nada, no cambió nada, ni, ni, ni cuando le ganamos a los Oblak ni cuando perdimos con los Oblacks, la semana es la misma, tenemos una oportunidad de estar todos juntos de vuelta una semana más, de seguir construyendo este equipo, de seguir creciendo las bases de este equipo, así que nada, vamos a tener una tremenda semana, con mucha energía, con mucho foco en lo que hicimos este fin de semana, en lo que venimos haciendo en el torneo, en qué podemos mejorar y, y, y seguir mirando para adelante.